million until I'm a millionaire. Okay, welcome back, guys. Thanks for joining me again. It's been a busy week of thrift, and I sure got a lot of stuff. Um, I'd like to get this stuff online, so I need to make this video. Let's get to it. Hey, make sure to hit the subscribe button if you like these types of thrift and how much videos. All right, without further ado, let's dive right into this stuff. And you know the early bird gets the worm, and I was the first one there, and this was on the new cart. It was 60 of these VHS Star Trek The Next Generation. I paid 50 cents a piece, so 30 bucks. What can I get? All right, I picked up these Nike golf shoes for $6. They're in awesome shape. These Heelys were brand new, $6. Got the wheels in the pocket. Thought that was a pretty good deal, a small size for some kid. And I grabbed this Lego Star Wars, I think it's Kylo Ren's ship. Got a little guy in there. It has the manual. This ninja cooking system looks to be in great shape. Actually, it looks like it's brand new for $15. Not a bad deal on that, I think. Wonder what I can get. I paid $2.99 for this little bag of toys because this little Mickey figure was in there. Let's see what else is in there. A little Arthur gift bag thing. A little Paddington bear in a bag. Chat pack for kids. This little Mickey. Super vintage. Got a few video games from the DI, Desert Industry Thrift Store. These say five a piece, but they've been there a week, so he gave them to me for three a piece. Narnia, Phineas and Ferb, Prince of Persia. These are just going in my collection. And a Wii, Michael Jackson, The Experience. Game looks in good shape for three bucks. And I thought these big box PC simulator games looked cool for two bucks each, so why not? Sub War 2050, US Navy Fighters. This Diablo 3 Battle Chest for three dollars at the DI. Always grabbing Christmas ornaments. You got a Tom Watt, cats, and a Spode Christmas tree. I paid seven dollars for this Polo Cologne. Ah, the perfume it looks about ninety-five percent full. Three ninety-nine for a Roomba charger. Somebody's looking for that. Little Woodcrafter's train kit. That was $1. I paid the $5 for the Pez set, 12 days of Christmas ornaments. But I collect Pez, that's going in my collection. Who in the world would want these little pen mates pen toppers? So I just got some regular folks on the pictures. You know, I'm going to find out who in the world. I took a gamble on this Sony Handycam for $3.99. I haven't tested it, but it's the DCR SX65. I paid $3.99 for this action figure. It looks like a animated King Kong. Cool colors. It's heavy. I paid the $1.99 for this Lamax Christmas ornament. A little chestnut vendor. I believe this abacus cost me $2.00 comes with an instruction booklet, and I don't know how to use it, do you? Buck fifty for this Maisto Jeep Rubicon, pretty cool. It's an ice motor. Little M&M's dispenser for two bucks, hot rod m and I don't know, maybe ten bucks. Oh my gosh, these things won't shut up. These little V-Tech toys. I paid two bucks for the bag. $3.99 for this Kensington USB docking station. $15 for this Ninja Blender with the food processor, but the processor cracked, so that's not going to help the value much. 
Six bucks a pair for these boosters boots for some kid. They look like they're in great shape. Maybe 20 bucks a pair plus shipping. Five bucks for these ride boots, boa boots. That's a great deal. Which ones are they? Anthem boa coiler. These Burton Ion boots aren't in the best shape, but they're not in the worst shape. So I paid the 10 bucks. I paid five dollars for this model before opening it. And it looks partially built. So that could affect the value some. This big giant new bright F-150 Raptor was 10 bucks. Has the remote. Looks in good shape. But I don't have a charger for this. And this EasyTech F-350 looked also in good shape for 10 bucks. Has the battery and I have a charger for this battery so I'll give it a test. These Forum boots aren't in bad shape. He gave them to me for seven dollars. The Forum destroyers. No, no. These Lenovo laptops were only 10 bucks a piece. They've got a tag that says won't boot to Windows on them. So that's not good. But I've sold a lot of laptops for parts or repair. Never had a return. Wait, wait. Got a couple of scales here. Got this QTech QCS65. And this Model 4010 Palooze scale. They both work. And these Christmas ornaments, the Christmas by Krabs. I've sold a lot of these boxes, especially these extra ornate ones. I broke a couple. I think it's the Krebs in this pyramid box as well, so I'll just sell it as a lot. I've sold a lot of Harry Potter stuff. Maybe these mugs for three bucks a piece weren't great. That's 20 bucks. I've got mugs right here. Let's see what they look like. Got the Whip Joy mugs. And a one, two, three home free game for three bucks by Chieftain. You know, I don't know this game. And I got this Body Blade Classic for $1.99. You just shake it. It's supposed to give you a workout. Let's see what it's worth. Couldn't say no to this cool D&D book, 4th edition player's handbook collection. That was 10 bucks. Sold Disney picture frame. I paid one fifty for. Be surprised if it wasn't worth at least ten. The Rivals for Catan two-player card game for two bucks. One dollar and fifty cents for the Star Wars crochet kit. I'm not going to use this. What's it worth? Did I buy this puzzle for two dollars? I just like the graphics, but I'm going to have to count those pieces, darn it. And this Rat Fink shop sign for two bucks. That's my generation. That's going in my shop somewhere on the wall. I thought this little fishing scene was cool. I think that was. It was three dollars. This village skating pond. Is all in there. I looked at it. What did I pay for this? $5.99. Let's hope it's good. I picked up this Trike 3 CV, the Trike 5, for $7.99. And if you've made it this far, you've made it near the end, go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you like this kind of video or hit the like button. Even if you don't like it, it helps me. Somebody had some really great Pioneer stereo equipment. I paid $5.99 a piece for these three and $4.99 a piece for these amazing speakers. Let's see what we got. This one wasn't part of the set. It was six bucks at the DI. It's the Modulet 808B 8-track player. I'm gonna test it. Pioneer SG9500 Equalizer. The Pioneer 
receiver SX880. And the Pioneer Tape Deck model CTF8282. These speakers are the HPM60. Great shape. Alright, that's all the stuff guys. I hope you had a good time going through it. I know I sure did. I love finding this stuff. I feel lucky that I get to do this for a living. And, uh, and one other thing I didn't show you is this jacket I got at the thrift store for 10 bucks. A little Patagonia. I like it a lot. So until next time.